Good evening. My name is Colette Maudsley and I am the Dean of Higher Education and Access here at the Hugh Baird University Centre. I'd like to welcome you to our open evening this evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. We hope you go away with all the questions, with all your questions answered and with a little bit more information about the courses that we offer. To start, I am going to introduce you to some of the staff and students prior to asking you to go to the Open Evening Landing page whereby you can click on the course of your choice and have an informal chat with the academic staff. Before you do that, I would like to introduce you to the two HE academic leads that manage the four faculty areas within the directorate of HE, Delith Coles and Martin Harrington. So I'd like to now pass it over to Delith first. Hi, my name is Delith Coles. I'm the academic lead for standards. And as the name alludes to, I look after the quality processes within the university centre. This means that all the staff and students have to adhere to the academic regulations as set out by our partner university. My other role is curriculum planning, where we, we research as to what other courses can be offered within our university centre, especially linking these to the employees who have requested that we introduce a programme or course which will benefit students in order for them to move into the world of employment. I'd like now to pass you on to Martin Harrington, our academic lead for student experience. Hi, I'm Martin. As Della said, I'm the academic lead for uh, student experience. Now, the choice of university is often a personal one, and it's very important that you choose the institution that's right for you, both in terms of the teaching approach and also in terms of their approach to getting you ready for a career. Because it's important to remember that you're not just choosing a degree you are choosing to embark on a career. Now, all our courses have a very strong emphasis on career readiness. They're taught by qualified professionals in that field. Uh, and many of our staff are also still active in their chosen fields, uh, pursuing scholarly activity throughout the year. So that ensures currency throughout all our programmes and helps get you ready for the, that world of work and that career that you, you need. Now, in addition to that, we do have a comprehensive career readiness program, which allows you access to industry professionals, guest speakers and events, which again will help you uh, embark on your career uh, and move forward. In addition to that, our institution offers smaller class sizes than traditional HEIs and what that gives you is a very supportive environment where you're offered a uh, person-centered approach uh, as opposed to a teacher-centered one, and you're treated not just as a number, but as a, in an individual. But don't take my word for it. I uh, would like to introduce you to two of our current students, Emily and Joanne, who are gonna talk a little bit about their experience at the University Center. Welcome both. Hi. So, so just ask you a few questions and I'll tell us in a minute. So Joanne, I'm just interested if you could tell tell us really about your experience so far because you've been, this, been with us for a while and just tell us a little bit about you know, what, what your experience at the University Centre has been like and uh, really how you think you've been supported. Yes, yeah, so I'm on my third and final year um, of a BA a degree in criminology. Um, I think the likes of going on to a, a degree when you're a mature student can be more daunting, more than anything. And I think I the think smaller think class sizes are more beneficial. Um, it's warmer, you know. You're getting that. What you're getting more support rather than being in a lecture hall with hundreds of people, where you're often overlooked or terrified to speak. You know, it's it's more compact. So you know, and there's you're getting a lot more. To, you're getting a lot more lesson time. Basically, the the, the tutors and everything are, are amazing. You know, they'll bend over backwards to accommodate and help you. And I think the fact that, that it is on the doorstep as well, that's appealing as well. That's great. So in terms of chosen career, do you want to tell us a little bit about kind of where you're hoping to go 
after your studies and uh, how well you feel you've been prepared for this this career well to be fair this from the day you start yeah you have amazing trips we've been to magistrate courts we've been to crown courts um it's just a shame you know COVID happens and it put a dampener on the trips because the trips are really beneficial you know and, and with mine being criminology i always thought i'd go down the the criminal justice sec sector route but obviously being a Hugh Bird and it's like being part of a family, an academic family. You know, everybody knows everyone, everyone looks out for everyone. There's always a set of eyes, a set of ears that are warm and, you know, well, last year, are you okay? Nothing's a problem. Everyone will just help anyone in there. Um, I've decided now that I'm going to do my PGCA and, and stay a Hugh Bird for another year because um, I'd really like to yeah, become a lecturer in criminology. If I could be a lecturer in Hubert, even better. But well, that's my goal at the moment anyway. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Della? Okay, Emily, a couple of questions for you. So what attracted you to study at Hubert University Centre? I've been at Hubert since I was 16. It's, it's, it's a nice, small environment where we've gone like a close-knit community and you can feel comfortable with everyone that's there. The staff are always happy to help and the people there are so friendly and it's just, it's on your doorstep like Duran said, it's not too far and it's just, it's a nice environment to be in. Okay, so what kind of support have you had from your teachers and also from the students engagement officers? Um, can you explain to us all how they've supported you as well, please? The tutors have been amazing and so have the student engagement officers. The student engagement officers offer uh, courses, workshops, anything that you're struggling with, you can ask them and they will put a workshop on to help address it for you. There's nothing, they will literally bend over backwards to help you wherever they can. The librarians, the staff, the SEOs, tutors everyone in the university will do everything within their power to make sure you can pass and get the highest grade possible and do whatever they can to help you where they can okay thanks emily so joanne and i suppose emily as well, this, is, this is one question that was in the rehearsal <laughs> if you had any um, advice for people who are watching us tonight and are thinking about kind of uh on the court if you have anything you can offer them. Do it. Just literally go for just it. Go it. Just go, go for it. It, it is, is the friendliest it's environment. Friendly. It's such a nice place to be. Everyone's so pleasant and it's so enjoyable. You really enjoy it. Yeah, I just if 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 you're wanting to do a degree, you couldn't pick a better place than, than Hubert, to be fair. Hubert is the place to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we're biased, but no. it is. It's just I don't I think I'd struggle in the beginning because it had been out of um, education for well over 20 years so for me to go into that environment I, I think I'd have probably struggled but I do think because it is classroom based and you are having more help than you possibly would in a university you know there's you've got nothing to lose just do it yeah, it's it's worth it. It's worth every penny being there and every facility that's available, all the resources, ever, and all the people. It's just amazing. You should go for it. Brilliant. Thank you very much. So if uh, you're watching us at the moment and you are interested in finding out a little bit more about the support that's available at the college, uh, our student engagement officers will be available this evening for you to uh, chat to as well. So um, with that, I'd like to uh, welcome back the, uh, the Dean, uh, Colette, to uh, wrap up. Oh, that's brilliant. And thank you, um, Joe and Emily. You were absolute stars there tonight. So thank you so much. And good luck for the rest of your, your course and your studies. OK, thank so you. thank you. You're welcome. Uh, thank you once again for tuning in tonight. Uh, you will now be able to uh, meet your tutors from 6.30. So grab yourself a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, enjoy your evening, and hopefully we will see you in September for the new academic year.